Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today I'm showing you my third promotion battle. I've been promoted from the Green League, I've been promoted from the Blue League, now I'm going to see if I can be promoted from the Red League. Apparently I'm playing against Ellen, and she's going to be using a Brakeson, and... I remind you of what I've said previously, I don't know why it's not Del Fox. All the others, you've got the Stage 2 Garchomp, which I'm using, and the Stage 2 Blaziken, and the Stage 2 Charizard, and the Stage 1, which is still going to evolve Brakeson, which should make it the worst character in the game, but hey-ho. So I've got my usual rest around Cresselia. I go Cresselia first because she charges faster, and off I go. And I managed to just hit the brakes in with the edge of my Earthquake, which is good. But again, I mistime that dig, and it doesn't really work. I try a few counters, but I get beaten, and there are some combos going on. Brexen is a speed character. The combos are good, and she catches me with a grab, and all of a sudden, I'm looking a little bit in trouble, which is a slight pain. But of course, she has less HP than I do, and I hit harder than she does, and look how quickly her health bar goes down. I stop messing around. I go for some ordinary attacks, some strong and weak attacks, and then I use Cresselia to recover my recoverable health, as it were. And then I get a ranged attack, I follow it up, and just like that, I have won. And this is what I keep saying about Garchomp in my videos. One of the things about Garchomp is his attacks, his defense, they are big. He is a smasher. He is a strong type Pokemon, rather than the speed of Brakeson. And I again managed to hit with an Earthquake. Now, I want to dig, but you've got to be so careful with dig. And I'm getting some good blocks there. And then I call in Reshiram. How well am I going to hit with Reshiram? Oh, and look at that timing. The synergy burst right as I call in the Reshiram. Can't blame her for it. Good work on her part. But I do manage to get a grab there. And then I get my own synergy burst. And given that I've got full HP and I've used my synergy burst, things are looking good. But I'm jumping around and I jump too slowly. Can I hit with my burst attack? Yes, I can. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the end of it. This burst attack will end this fight. And I will see my promotion from the Red League complete. Go me. Um, if you want to see what happens after the Red League, my next video is going to be a slightly longer one. And I'm going to show you what happens when you beat the Red League. You do not immediately go to a new league. But you're going to have to wait a couple of days to see what happens. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that we might see a Mewtwo coming along in the very near future. Last time when I beat the Green League, long came Shadow Mewtwo. When I beat the Blue League, Blue, I meant to say. Sounded a bit weird then. Along came Shadow Mewtwo, and I have a sneaking suspicion, ladies and gentlemen, that Shadow Mewtwo is going to be coming along as well. Maybe, Ellen, maybe you should have got more serious. Maybe if you'd been more serious, you wouldn't have been beaten 2-0. Does that mean, sound mean? Now, the good news is I think I'm about to get some new support Pokemon, which will be nice. Who am I getting? Farfetch has got an average charging attack and Electrode has got an average charging disruption. Now, a little bit of a shame because neither of them charge fast. So in a fast game, especially round one, you're not going to get either of those actually working. We've got a slow Dragonite and a slow Victini, but if you go into the combo settings... Garchomp's got a good combo with Victini, and Dragonite, that looks like a fun attack. So I think Dragonite and Victini are going to get a bit of play with me and Garchomp. So look for them in future videos, although slow charging Pokemon, it is unlikely that you're going to read... If, if, unless you have a slow first round, it's unlikely you're going to get them working. Oh my goodness, who could have guessed it? Along comes Shadow Mewtwo, and the girl he brought us just like, yeah, I'm running away now, you deal with this. Why am I dealing with it? That just seems mean. We've seen this cutscene. If you want to see it, you know, where I shut up and just show you full volume, go back to my Shadow Mewtwo Appears video where it's all, you know, ready to roll. So Shadow Mewtwo's back and I'm going to have to fight him again, which is a little bit worrying. You saw the first time I fought, and spoiler alert, if you haven't seen my previous Shadow Mewtwo videos, go back and have a gander. First time, smashed him. <laughs> That's a complete lie. First time, I got a clutch win right at the end. Second time, I unfortunately made a bit of a comeback again at the end, but it wasn't enough. So I've started straight away with Reshiram. Cresselli is not much good, and this is a one-round fight. What am I doing? I don't really know. I hit with a strong attack. That's good. I should probably be doing more of them. 
I keep trying all these fancy grabs and digs and he's countering them and it's not actually doing me particularly much good. So I need to try something a little bit different. Now Mewtwo here, he's going to get his synergy burst going and it's not looking great for me quite frankly ladies and gentlemen. He's got some stuff going and it's a little bit upsetting. Mewtwo, he's pretty good and it's a fairly, it's a fairly quick loss on my part unfortunately. I was trying to do too much there, I was trying to get my grabs, my digs, I was trying to get too fancy, and some games you need to take it back to basics, but this time I actually get a chance to fight again. So the question is, am I, how, how many tries, I'm clearly going to keep doing this till I win, how many tries is it going to take? And you have my word ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to be cutting any out. Now I've gone for Snivy and Lapras here, I'm going for Snivy, why? Snivy does a bit of damage, he charges quickly, so I'm thinking I'm going to get at least one of them off. You saw how much Reshiram did last time. Now I managed to hit with a dig, and I get the combo off, and I finish with the dig because I time it properly, and then I get my grab, and the difference in this fight is I've got my timing correct. I'm timing my grab so that he's not blocking them, I'm timing my dig so he's not blocking them, and I'm being, and see now I get greedy. That was not the time to try a grab when he's just randomly standing there. And this is my own darned fault. And he gets a big combo. He does a huge amount of damage. I do find it weird that Mewtwo's got so many hit points and yet they go down so quickly. It's a bit weird. So I call my Snivy in and I get him a little bit. I do a little bit of damage. I think I did any road. It wasn't very much. But I'm getting some little attacks. Now, again, that was not the time to do a dig. But I managed to block quickly enough and then immediately catch him with a grab when he's off guard. And then that's the time to do the grab. Now, he gets his synergy burst here. I don't have mine, so I'm going to have to be careful. If he hits me with a synergy att a burst attack here, it could be it. But I managed to get my own synergy burst. And if I hit him with this, it is going to be, oh my goodness, two in a row. I beat my promotion battle using this, and I beat Mewtwo doing it as well. I hit with my burst attack, and oh no, that's not enough. That's not quite enough. I thought that would be enough. So now I need to be careful because we've seen how much damage Mewtwo can do and how quickly. So I need to try it. I need to, oh my goodness, I'm down to 22. Now I call Snivy back in, and I need to get something going here. And I just get some ordinary attacks, and that's what I needed to do more of all along. So actually, that got a little bit hairy, and I imagined at the end there, but I pulled out the win. And Shadow Mewtwo, I think he's kind of tamed now. I think I've, I think I've got him a little bit. He's going all black and white, and when it goes black and white, ladies and gentlemen, that is rarely a good sign. So we're going to see in the next video what actually happens. The story is all a little bit convoluted, if I'm perfectly honest with you. It's, it's a bit of a weird story. Spooky. Spooky indeed. So the good news is Shadow Mewtwo's been taken down. The bad news is I've yet to unlock Mewtwo. I cannot actually play as Mewtwo yet, unfortunately. In the next video, I'm going to show you what happens. And, spoiler alert, it's going to unlock Mewtwo. So in the next video, we're going to unlock Mewtwo. He's run away now. We've beaten him two out of three, and I don't think that's too bad. Although, if I'm perfectly honest, it's kind of cheating this time because it took me two goes. But, you know, I think the fact that I did it second time is not amazing by any stretch of the imagination, but I think that went all right. So you know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you click that like button if you haven't done it yet. Why have you not done it yet? It would have taken you seconds. Do it, 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 do it. Have you done it yet? Good. Make sure you comment if you want to call me a terrible player. Tell me how much you love the game. Heck, just comment and tell me who your favorite character is. You know I'm favoring Garchomp, but... You know, tell me who your favourite character is. And, of course, make sure you subscribe for more Pockety goodness. Pocket tournamenty goodness, I should say. And make sure that if you have already subscribed, that you tell a friend. And you get them to subscribe. Because life will be much better, I think, if we can all watch these videos just occasionally. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm having my first little player. Apparently, I, I beat Mewtwo. And I was like, right, now I need to fancy myself up. So I've got some stars on my face. I'm going to get myself some headphones. Anyone that knows me in real life knows that I am often seen with big headphones around my neck. And I feel like I need some pattern behind me. Flames, 
bit cliched, if I'm honest. There's some flowers. Uh, there's some lightning bolts, some bubbles. But I don't think I'm going to go for either of them. What am I going to go for? Nah, flames is too cliched, Ross. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, oh, wings. It's got to be fairy wings. It is on, ladies and gentlemen. Stars on my face, fairy wings on my back. I am now unstoppable. The most important thing, of course, as always, ladies and gentlemen, look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.